So he was practicing, he and his brother, uh, Fasih. But I want you to say, La ilaha illallah. The Islam has a brought the truth. You agree? Say, La ilaha illallah. And this is our raja, this is our hope, the Islam. <coughs> Islamuna bil haqqi jaan La ilaha illa Allah Islamuna kana raja Islamuna bil haqqi jaan La ilaha illa Allah Islamuna kana raja La ilaha illa Allah Wa kitabuna fihi al-huda Wa kitabuna fihi al-huda Wa muhammadun nuru wa muhammadun nuru dhiyah wa salatuna tanha nufusa anil fawahish wa riyah wa riyah islamuna bil haqq jala ilaha illa Allah islamuna kana raja islamuna bil haqq jala ilaha illa Allah islamuna kana raja ilaha وصيامنا خير لنا وصيامنا خير لنا وهو الدواء والشفاء وهو الدواء والشفاء وزكاتنا أمن لنا فيها الفوائد والصفاء والصفاء إسلامنا بالحق جاء لا إله إلا إسلامنا كان الرجاء لا إله إلا الله إسلامنا بالحق جاء إسلامنا كان الرجال وحجنا للبيت حق وحجنا للبيت حق من استطاع إليه جاد من استطاع إليه جاد إسلامنا بالخير يدعو العالمين على السواء على السواء إسلامنا بالحق جاء لا إله إلا الله إسلامنا كان الرجال إسلامنا بالحق جاء لا إله إلا الله إسلامنا كان الرجاء لا إله إلا الله آه آه request everybody to whatever donation you can give when you leave, donate for Human Concern International. Brother Adnan Sajdin works for Human Concern International and he came all the way from Toronto and we have listened to his beautiful kasidas and we help Human Concern International which works in Kosovo and Chechnya. Also we have downstairs exhibits, this is the first time from Ahya Productions from Fons Whitey, from Sheikh Nuruddin Durki, uh, Abdul Hai Moor, and uh, other exhibitions there down there for you. Please go and look at it in material uh, if you like. Now it's my pleasure to invite Sheikh Nuruddin Durki, who is a great scholar, uh, author, uh, founder of Darul Salaam Foundation, a Noor Foundation, and great work which he almost uh, has done and completed his transliteration of Quran and the Quranic translation, alhamdulillah. And uh, uh, I want to invite him now to give his uh, talk, which is on the recital of Quran as a spiritual practice. Sheikh Nurdin Durgi. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma salli wa sallam wa baraka ala Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala 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 al-bayt al-kiram wa ashabihi mutahharin wa awliya Allah salihin wa ulama mutakin wa jami'a mashaykhina wa murabina wa murshidina ila Allah ta'ala. سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون والسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وعما بعد. First of all, I would like to reveal to you a great secret. 
I'll show you, I'll step aside here. I'm going to show you the zahir and the batin. The brother was talking about the outside sunnah and the inside sunnah. You see my shirt? You see my shirt? That's the outside sunnah. You see my shirt? That's the inside sunnah. This is one shirt. Outside, inside, depends on how you wear it. So beginning with that, you understand what we're talking about, about inside and outside when we're talking. People imagine when uh, they talk about tasawwuf or Sufism that it's something somewhere else, that there are some other practices that they're going to discover, that there's some other place that they're going to go, that there's something else that they're going to find, but in truth, or like the shirt, this is the outside of it, and this is the inside of it. This is the dhahr, and this is the bottom, but it's the same shirt. So I'm going to talk about the shirt, that is the sunnah, that is both the dhahr and the bottom, so that there's no confusion that this is something that is not known, or something that's hidden, or something that you don't see. Well, of course, when you look at my shirt, you only see the outside of the shirt, but actually you all know that it's an inside of the shirt is the same shirt. Right? There's not two Islams, there's not an outer Islam and an inner Islam. There's one shirt, one Islam, which has an outer dimension and an inner dimension. Uh -huh. So you have to understand that so that you don't get yourself confused about there being two things rather than one thing. Because as we know, Kulhu Allahu Ah Allahu Sama. Now a little bit louder. How is that? Better, everybody? In the back? Alhamdulillah. So having said that, uh, I, I will go on to say that I testify, of course, that there is no deity save Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and that he imparts knowledge direct from his divine presence. This is called ilm min laduna. There is ilm min al-kitab, min al-book, from the book. There is ilm from the teachers and there's ilm from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is ilm min laduna. Sidna Musa alayhi salam prayed to Allah for what? For ilm min laduna. That's knowledge from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. If I talk to you and I say, this is a, a piece of yellow paper. Can you see this piece of yellow paper? Everybody see this piece of yellow paper? You see it. You believe it? There's a piece of yellow paper. This is direct knowledge. If I tell you, I have a piece of yellow paper, do you see it? Do you see this piece of yellow paper that I have? I might be able to talk about it so far that you could imagine, you know, because you originally saw this piece of yellow paper, that there was a piece of yellow paper when there was no piece of yellow paper. This is another kind of knowledge. But ilm and laduna is knowledge that is direct knowledge. You see the light? Yes, I see the light. This refers back to the very beginning of all revolution, uh, revelation which is when Allah uh, said, Allah to be rabikum. Everybody remembers this from the Quran, Allah to be rabikum. Am I not your Lord? Everybody said what? Bala, Bala shahidna. Bala shahidna. Bala shahidna. It's a yellow piece of paper. Bala shahidna. This is clear. So everybody's knowledge of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala from the beginning is that everybody had direct knowledge from Allah from the very beginning because everybody, he gathered all the duri, the, all the seeds of all the people who would ever come, of all the souls that would ever be, and they said, what? Bella shahidna. Are you our Lord? Okay, so like this. This is ilm and laduna. So this is what we want to speak about here. How do you access ilm and laduna? The beginning of it is very simple. What is the first command? First command. First command. What's the first command in Islam? Huh? Ikra. First command in Islam. Ikra. Ikra bismi rabbika ladhi khalaq. Khalaq al insana min alaq. Ikwa wa rabbuka al akram. Al ladhi alama bi kalam. Alam al insana. Malam Yalam. He taught the human being what the human being knew not. This is ilm min laduna. Because what you don't know, where can you get it from but from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is the kind of knowledge we're talking about. Not knowledge from books, not knowledge from this, but knowledge gathered from